Hello and welcome once again, friends. My name is Gerald, pastor of Innovate Christian Community Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina. Thanks for joining us for our daily psalm reading. It is always our hope and prayer just that you are blessed and encouraged as we read God's Word together looking at the psalms. Today's psalm is Psalm 116. I love the Lord. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me, the pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my, e my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of my salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Friends, how about you? Are you a lover of God? Do you love him with all your heart, soul, and mind? Friends, I do, and I pray that you do as well. For many of us, we can relate with verse 4. It says, Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Friends, that is our heart's cry when we recognize that there is only one Savior, only one God that is merciful, willing, and able to save us, to come to our rescue, be it for our salvation, be it for sickness and healing, be it for provision. There is only one God that hears our prayer and that answers our prayer and that comes to our rescue. It says, Gracious is the Lord and righteous our God is merciful. Friends, He is a God of mercy. Many of us, most of us, all of us, deserve far less than He has chosen to give us. We do not deserve His mercy and His grace. But because He loves us, He gives us those things. And we too shall say, like verse 13, I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Friends, if you know His love, if you've been saved by Him, by His grace and re received His mercy, and His forgiveness and His redemption, then you have right to also lift up your cup of salvation. Tell others what the Lord has done for you. Praise His name, like it says, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Friends, if you love Him, you praise Him. If you love Him, you serve Him. If you love Him, you worship Him. And you live your day, every day, seeking to obey, seeking to do His will. Not for punishment's sake, but because we love and we respond out of our love to Him. Friends, I pray this message has been a blessing and an encouragement to you. And if so, will you pass this on, share it with somebody else so that they too can be blessed and encouraged. Friends, I pray you have a wonderful night and we'll see you again tomorrow.